What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomaly channel. Guys, it's been a while since I made a video, and I apologize for that. Weather's been great out here. Uh, it's been 70, 80 degrees. Can't complain. It's supposed to be a little bit over 80 degrees today. I've uh, been getting a lot of things from the house done, things I wanted to get done, uh, you know, uh, last summer. Now we're starting to do it and get it knocked out quickly. Anyway, um, I've also told you guys I was going to be checking out this lunar wave, and I have. I've been checking it out. I've talked to another gentleman, uh, met him, talked to him on Skype. He goes by, his first personal is Dave, goes by Daza the Cameraman. Um, he also knows a fellow named um, Astronomy Live. You'll get both links to these, uh, to these two uh, gentlemen. You'll get both links in my description, so look for it on the bottom. Um, okay, these are the two gentlemen that actually went back and forth with Crow777. Um, they've asked him, hey, would you be interested in recording this um, simultaneously? In other words... You know, like me, I'm on the East Coast, he's on the West Coast, to be three hours apart. You know, so they're asking him. He said, no, I'd rather do, I'd rather, and not, this is not word for word, but he said something along the lines is, uh, no, I'd rather do this with professionals. I was like, ooh, that's not good. But anyway, I mean, they went back and forth with each other. And now, here's the thing. Now, you guys will agree. Put yourself in the shoes of a Crow. If, if you were recording this lunar wave, and let's say I was. This is the way I look at it. If some gentleman said to me, hey, why don't we do this at the same time and we can collaborate on this and then, you know, we can actually see if this thing is really there. I would jump at the bit to do this. And the reason why I would do this is because if you see it and I see it, then it confirms what I've been seeing and saying. Now I can move on with my investigations. Most people would do that. He totally, you know, they asked him over and over again to no avail. Didn't want no part of it. Now, um, I talked to Dave on Skype. Uh, asked him what he thought it was. He thought it was like an atmospheric uh, refraction. And uh, I believe he's correct. Uh, the more you look into this thing and study this stuff, you just go, yeah, something's really bizarre. Now, let me jump into this, see if I can find it here. Atmospheric refraction, uh, and this is right here on Wikipedia, is a deviation of light or other electromagnetic, electromagnetic wave um, from a straight line as it passes through the atmosphere due to variation in air density as a, f as a function of altitude. Uh, this refraction is due to the velocity of light through air decreasing, and then in parentheses, the uh, uh, the index of refraction increases with increased density. Atmospheric refraction near the ground produces mirages hmm, and can make distant objects appear to shimmer or ripple, uh, elevate or lower, stretch or shorten with no mirage involved. So that's pretty crazy, and you guys will get the link to that. You guys can check this out yourself. Now, you know, like I said, I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, hmm, well, after talking to Dave and then checking out Astronomy Live, these two gentlemen's channels, and you can see they've been going back and forth trying to disprove this lunar wave, and there's a reason for it. These guys are actual astronomers. I don't care if you call them, okay, well, they're kind of amateur. These guys, especially uh, Dave has told me right out, he says, well, Astronomy Live has actually got it over on me, meaning he's just more of a astronomer than he is. And I believe uh, Astronomy Live, this gentleman here, is in Florida. Um, so, you know, and Dave is over in New Zealand. So, regardless, they've been collaborating, going back and forth, and checking this stuff out. So, here's a big question, guys. You want to see this wave? Seriously? You can see it a hundred times a day. It ain't nothing special. It ain't nothing, nothing out of order. It's an, it's a, it's, it's a normal, local phenomenon. There you go. Right there. Let's put this to the top here. Let's go ahead and record it. There's a jet wash, and you'll see the wave coming right down. Here it comes. There you are. There it goes. That's right, guys. <laughs> Good old-fashioned, down-to-earth... Just a localized phenomenon, and if I'm not mistaken, he lives somewhere next to an airport. So, yeah, um, there you go. What can I tell you? Uh, and you know, it's it's you know, it makes me think. And I'm saying to myself, if he knows about this, then he's duping the people. If he's if he's just doesn't know, then you go, okay, well maybe the guy is a little oblivious to it and just doesn't know. I don't see that. I think he's a very intelligent man, and I don't. I, I'm still trying to figure that out. Again, I'm not willing to trash the guy. But here's the thing. It makes you wonder, okay, he lives next to an airport. He should know this. He should have an idea what this is doing uh, or what's creating it. And like I said, I would have jumped at the bit 
when somebody said, hey, well, I, Chris, I noticed you've been seeing this lunar wave. Um, let me go ahead and uh, try to record it with you. Let's both record simultaneously at, at night. doesn't matter what time it is because we're both in the same states, but maybe a few hours across or a difference. And we'll go ahead and check this out. Didn't want to do it. Totally said no. So it makes you wonder what his motives are. I'm not saying I know exactly what's going on, but from what I've seen, what I've read, and, and like I said, you guys want to see this wave 100 times a day? Go to an airport and film it at night. There you go. It's as simple as that. It's not a, it's not a loon. And I got to be honest with you guys. I was the first one to say too, like, you know, wow, this is just unique. This is just wild. I love this, you know. And you want to know why? Because I don't have a, a, a telescope. And how many of you guys can say you've got one? And I mean a good one. I'm talking about something like a good, at least a six to eight inch, no, no less. I'm not talking about these little tiny toys you get at Kmart or something. I'm talking about a good refractive, you know, uh, telescope. I don't, you know, so, uh, yeah. So the average person doesn't know, so they automatically assume what he's saying is the truth. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not. It's, it's, I, I don't know the motive behind it. I don't, I really don't. And like I said, in, in, unless I knew and I was in his head or talked to him, I've tried to talk to him numerous times on uh, uh, Skype, and I just couldn't get an answer. He just, oh, I don't want to deal with Skype. I've had bad problems with Skype. And if anybody knows me, I've done talk shows. Well, I meaning I've had broadcasts, so to speak. Um, I've talked to other people. People know that I'm not going to just, like, send him some kind of dangerous file to corrupt his computer or some crazy thing like that. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, really, I don't care. But to me, it's been exposed to just a nothing more than a local phenomenon, point blank. So anyway, guys, there you go. Um, you know, I'm going to try to, I got some more videos coming up, so stay tuned for those. Uh, I'm going to try to do a broadcast. I'm not sure yet. So, you know, I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see how it plays out. I've got other things uh, that I need to get done before this weekend, so hopefully I can knock these out. Just, you know, stay tuned tomorrow, meaning Friday. If you see it up on there saying, I'm going to have a broadcast, then there you go. If not, then I'm going to try to definitely 100% plan one for the following weekend. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Uh, you guys know this. I, you know, uh, I do this for you guys. Um, and again, I'm a little disappointed about this uh, Lunar Wave because I thought there was something to it. But it is what it is. When you investigate these things, you find out that, oh, well, we've either been duped, lied to, or just maybe it was indirectly. Maybe he wasn't doing it purposely. He doesn't know. But judging by the light refraction theory and or well, the actual phenomenon that goes on and you can see this happening in these videos and I'll show you there's two videos actually showing this it's not just one there's two of them and I'll put them down below as well if I can find the both of them because um, I think I believe I, I do have the both of them so either way you have at least the one and I'm going to try to find the other I'm going to put that down there as well anyway guys thanks for watching always appreciate it and I'll see you next video